With the Replications plugin, you're able to replicate any or all of your watches to any third location you like. To set this up, I'm going to go ahead and right click the whole library so it'll happen on every watch. I'm going to go to Options. I'm going to choose Replication plugin. First thing I'm going to do is enable it. And then here you have an option to preserve directories. In the case of this test file, what that means is in the new location, it'll actually use the folder new and then the test file, so it'll preserve your directories. I'm going to leave that true. Then it lets you choose your replication location. And I've already made a directory on the C drive called the backup location. And then there's the replication type. Um, there's two options here. There's the original document name and there's the revision name. If you leave it, I'm going to leave it as original document name, but what that means is it's only going to overwrite the original document name every time. If, it wanted to, if I wanted it to function as a, another backup place, I could use the revision name, and in that case, every revision would be stored there as its revision name. Then you can trim any of the path you like. I'm just going to hit OK. Now if I go to that location, you can see that that's currently empty. I'm going to go ahead and make a new revision of this. And if I go to that back to that location, you can see because I used preserved directories, there's a new directory in there now. And then I've got my test file. So this can be used in a couple of different ways. Um, well, actually many different ways, two of which are just as a third location for backups, or perhaps you wanted to pass files on to a coworker. This would do it for you.